Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn some important pronunciations, so let's get started. Today we're learning these two words. These are the only two words that I have found in English that end with C I O N. And guess what? They have different pronunciations. That's right. In these two words, C I O N is pronounced differently. Let's take a closer look. First, let's look at this word suspicion. In this word, the C is pronounced with the sh sound, like in fish or wish. Sh, sh. There's no voice, it's a soft sound. Sh, sh. Together, suspicion. Suspicion. The first syllable, the U, is pronounced with the short sound, uh, uh, like cup and up. S, s. Suspicion. The second syllable is the short I, like this is. I, I. Together, suspi, suspicion. And the last vowel is a closed sound. Uh, uh, un, un, uh, uh, un. Together, suspicion. Suspicion is the noun, and suspect is the verb. He made everyone think that it was Mary so they wouldn't suspect him. I understand why you suspect me, Hannah. And I don't care. I was really scared that you would suspect me of murder. Police suspect her assailant was probably hiding in the back seat. Well, if they suspect her son, they should try him. Well, maybe you can tell us why you suspect her. We've been investigating Callaway for a couple of years now, and we suspect him of being an agent. You think the cops suspect me of killing Richie? Why do you suspect me? What have I done? Example, she suspects that her boyfriend is cheating on her. So she looks at his phone. And her suspicions were confirmed when she saw him texting another woman. And now her suspicions are confirmed. He is wanted on suspicion of the murder of Anthony Castellino and for ordering gang members to put a hit on the only known witness to the Castellino murder. Tell you what, we're just gonna go ahead and book you on suspicion of the murder of Gary Hinman. You know, I have my suspicions about Margaret. What are you doing up here? Stop! Show him, Preacher! I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Talents or I am Fiona Hutchinson. He was picked up on suspicion of armed robbery. Now get this. You're under arrest on suspicion of the felony of kidnapping. Hunt. You've long held suspicions that Lark was an American agent. I have my suspicions about a young Amish man who visited last week. I got a suspicion he might not be what he says he is. There's a lot of suspicion and hate. Messrs. Havemeyer, Potter, and Jameson are placed on probation for suspicion of ungentlemanly conduct. Suspicions abound that Kennedy is soft on communism. Take this one in and book him on suspicion of murder. Again, her suspicions. We're using suspicion in a plural form. Suspicions. Her suspicions were confirmed when she saw him texting another woman. So the idea again? She suspected that her boyfriend was cheating on her. And her suspicions were confirmed when she saw him texting another woman. Let's practice. Did she suspect that her boyfriend was cheating on her? That's right. She suspected that her boyfriend was cheating on her. And were her suspicions confirmed when she saw him texting another woman? That's right. Her suspicions were confirmed when she saw him texting another woman. Very good. Now let's look at this word, coercion. We see C-I-O-N again, but it's making a different sound. It's not making the sh sound like in fish and wish. It's making the zh sound like in vision or decision. It's the same position as sh, like wish and fish. Sh, sh. But you make a voice, you make vibration. Make vibration here. Zh. That's the sound we want. Zh. Zh. Vision. Decision. And now we have coercion. Now, if you look in a dictionary, they'll have two pronunciations, but I have never heard the other one used. I've only heard this pronunciation used with the zh sound. So it's coercion. The first vowel is a long O, like no and go, co. And you have the er sound, like in burger. When we link these two vowels, there's a sound in the middle. It's a w, w sound, like a W, linking the vowels. Co, w, co, -er, 
coercion. Coercion. Put the stress on the second syllable. Coercion. Coercion is a noun and coerce is the verb. Coerce is a verb similar to intimidate or threaten. You intimidate someone and you make them do what you want them to do. That's coercion. And he only told you what he told you because you coerced him. And I think perhaps she was coerced in some way to go with me. Though I can't think in what way. However, Mr. Stamphill cannot coerce you into testifying against yourself. How I coerced him into robbing those banks. Apparently, Tono coerced Tanner into smuggling some guns and Tanner can't deliver the shipment. Blackwood coerced you into that damn place, forced you into lewd behavior. That's not true. The facts are unimportant. I coerced her to have sex with me. We were coerced into a date. You coerced him by trying to send him to jail for Pollock's murder. If they coerced you in any way to sign this piece of paper, we can challenge them legally. Mush. Were you coerced in any way to participate in this project? No. If I walked them into court with the drugs in their hand, you say they were coerced. I only said that to coerce you. Kanisha, did Brian ever coerce you or pay you to talk to him? None of the parties were coerced into signing this agreement. They made you as in they coerced you? Example, the police intimidated the suspect. The police threatened the suspect. So I can use the noun coercion. Assault? Coercion? There's bullying and there's coercion. I have therefore signed the statement of my own accord without coercion of any kind. Somehow coercion just no longer existed. Therefore, we conclude that extreme coercion is necessary to motivate you. The coercion of one witness to give false testimony in order to free another. It is the systematic coercion of one group of men over another. On one hand, Reuben Carter has submitted a document alleging racial prejudice, coercion of testimony, and withholding of evidence. And the only contracts that were signed between Mr. Chavez Union and a few wineries that signed up under the coercion of his threats. I can say the police intimidated the suspect or the police threatened the suspect. So I can use coerce. The police coerced the suspect. They used coercion. Coercion is a noun. So the example, the police used coercion to get the suspect to sign the confession. Again, the police used coercion to get the suspect to sign the confession. Let's practice. Did the police use coercion to get the suspect to sign the confession? That's right, the police used coercion to get the suspect to sign the confession. That's not right. I think it's illegal. So remember these two words, suspicion and coercion. Both spelled with C-I-O-N at the end, but they're pronounced differently. And if you find any other words that end with C-I-O-N, please put them in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.